How are you guys doing? It is Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of the Elite, I'm going to take you through yesterday's Elite matchups, Elite performances, and also I'm going to let you know what to look forward to today as everything kind of goes on around us. Um, but first, yesterday, I'm going to, or going into yesterday's games, I'm going to start with Monday Night Football to finish off um, week not to finish off week five, but it's the second last game of week five. Um, and the Saints were able to take on the Los Angeles Chargers last night in the Superdome. And in this game, the New Orleans Saints were able to beat the Chargers 30 to 27 with this win. Um, for Los and I mean, this game would go all the way down to the very end. Um, the Chargers were up, and then the New Orleans Saints would come on and tie the game before overtime. And then they'd, of course, Drew Brees would lead them down the field to get them the field goal that they really needed to win this game. Um, but for Los Angeles, they had an incredible game. Their rookie uh, quarterback, Justin Herbert, would throw for 264 yards and four touchdowns. Um, on the ground, Justin Jackson would be their leading rusher. He had 71 yards on 15 carries. Mike Williams out of uh, Clemson would be their leading receiver. He had 109 yards on five receptions and two touchdowns on the day. Um, and then on the defense side of the ball, Kazir White would finish with 10 tackles on the day. Um, and then, no, I mean, Nasir Adderley would also have an interception to go along um, with this good day. I mean, Joey Bosa also had a sack for them, so would Uchenna Nwosu. Good game all the way around for the Los Angeles Chargers, but it just wasn't enough. For the New Orleans Saints, their GOAT quarterback, Drew Brees, would complete 33 of his 47 passes for 325 yards, um, a touchdown and an interception. On the ground, Alvin Kamara would finish with 45 yards on 11 carries. He also had 74 yards on eight receptions. Um, so, of course, that would give him 119 yards total on the day. Um, Emmanuel Sanders would be the leading receiver for the New Orleans Saints. He had 122 yards on 12 receptions. On the defensive side of the ball, Cameron Jordan would lead the team in tackles. He had 10 tackles on the day, three of them for loss, and he had half of a sack. Sheldon Rankins had five tackles and a sack and two and a half for a sack. And then also Demario Davis was also tied for the team leading tackles. He had 10 of them as well. Um, and just continuing on with this win, the New Orleans Saints are now thirty, or they're now three and two on the season. And with this loss, the Los Angeles Chargers are now officially one and four and one and two on the road. Um, of course, looking into the last game of the week, the Buffalo Bills are going to take on the Tennessee Titans. Um, this game was originally moved. Um, but this game will take place at 7 o'clock today as Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills take on um, Ryan Tannehill of the Tennessee Titans. And both teams are undefeated as of right now. So, of course, that's going to be the last game of Week 5 before we move into Week 6. And then also, it's also great to know that the Broncos, the Lions, the Packers, and the Patriots all had bye weeks this week. Um, really quickly, jumping out to um, global soccer just to show you what's going on because a lot of it has been uh, international matchups. Um, not much that happened yesterday. A lot of it was um, just international friendly amongst um, African countries. Um, today in UEFA League, Germany is going to take on Switzerland at 245. That's going to be a big game to watch. Um, I think Germany's going to take that one. Spain's going to take on Ukraine at 245. Um, for FIFA World Cup in the in the Americas, Argentina's going to take on Bolivia. Uruguay is going to take on Ecuador. Brazil's taking on Peru. Colombia's taking on Chile. Uh, those are the big games that I think are noteworthy coming in. And then last but not least, looking into playoff baseball yesterday, looking at, how, looking at how both games finished out. Starting out with the ALCS game, game two, as that game happened first. In this game, the Tampa Bay Rays would go in and beat the Astros 4-2 to two to take a 2 nothing lead. Looking at how this game went, the Tampa Bay Rays would take a 3 nothing lead in the first as Manuel Margot would hit a three-run home run to go up 3 nothing. Um, In the sixth inning, at the top of the sixth, Carlos Correa would hit a home run to make it 3-1 to one to shorten their deficit. Zunino hit a solo home run to bring the lead back up to three in the ninth. Um, George Springer grounding into a double play would eventually bring the second run home for the Astros. And with this win, the, the Rays, like I said, took a 2 took a two nothing lead. For the Houston Astros, Lance McCullers Jr. would make the start. Four runs were scored against him. One was earned. He still um, struck out 11 batters in seven innings. And then Scrub would come in to finish off the game. 
looking out to they did, looking out for how they did offensively. Their elite second baseman Jose Altuve would go one for four with a walk as he struck out twice. Their elite third baseman Alex Bregman would go zero for five as he left six men on base yesterday. Their shortstop Carlos Correa would go one for four with an RBI and a run. He had his first home run of the series. Their first baseman Yuli Gurriel will go two for three with a with a run on the day as well. Um, and looking at how the Tampa Bay Rays did in this one, Charlie Morton would pick up the win. He would allow no earned runs and in five innings pitch, striking out five batters on the day. Um, Fairbanks would hold the he would hold Morton's win as he pitched two innings as well, and a lot of the the, and the rest of it went to um, bullpen pitching. Um, looking at they, looking out for how they did offensively, their left fielder Randy Arosarena will go two for four with a run on the day. Um, their right fielder. Will Margot or Manuel Margot will go one for three with three RBIs in a run as he will go on to hit his first home run of the series. And their catcher Mike Zunino will go one for two with an RBI in a run as he hit his first home run of the series. With this win, the Tampa Bay Rays lead this series two to nothing, and now they are two wins away from clinching a spot in the World Series. On the other side of the aisle, the Astros need to win out. They still have four games to win if they want to advance to the next round. Um, to play against the winner of the Braves and the Dodgers, and the Braves and the Dodgers in the National League uh, Championship Series, they played their first game yesterday. And in this game, the Braves would break out with four runs in the ninth inning to get this first win against the Dodgers. Looking out for how this game played out, Freddie Freeman hit a home run in the second at bat in the first inning. Um, Kike Hernandez would tie the game up at one with a solo home run in the bottom of the fifth. Um, it would stay one to one until the top of the ninth. Austin Riley would hit the go-ahead home run to put them up by two, put them up by one. Um, Marcelo Zuna would plop all single into right field to bring Ronald Acuna home. Um, and then Ozzy Albies would hit a two-run home run to bring Marcelo Zuna home to go up to keep the lead at five to one as Blake Trinan would pick up the loss. And Will Smith picked up the win for the Braves. For Los Angeles, um, Walker Buehler will get the start. Their elite young pitcher would allow one earned run in five innings pitch, striking out seven on the day. He did walk five batters, though. Um, and then the rest of the game was um, bullpen pitching. Blake Trinan, he only got he only registered one out, and he allowed three earned runs. I mean, he, he was the one that gave up three runs to Austin Riley, and then he gave up the uh, no, and then he gave up the single to. Ozuna and he allowed the first run that Ozzy brought home, which was Ozuna. Um, and then looking out to how their offense did, their elite right fielder Mookie Betts would go 0 for 4 with the strikeout. Um, just continuing on, um, their second baseman Kike Hernandez would go 1 for 3 with an RBI and a run. Their elite center fielder and former National League MVP Cody Bellinger would go 0 for 4 as well on the night. Not much going for the Dodgers. Um, and then looking out to how the Atlanta Braves fared, Max Freed would get the start for Atlanta. He would allow one earned run and six innings pitched, striking out nine batters on the day. Um, will or Chris Martin, Will Smith, and Mark Melanson would come in relief, and Will Smith would pick up the win as the Braves dropped five or four runs in the ninth. They can how they did offensively. Their elite center fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr., would finish one for five with a run on the day. Their elite first baseman, Freddie Freeman, who might win the MVP this year, finished one for four with an RBI and a run as he had his first home run of the series. Their designated hitter, Marcelo Ozuna, would go two for five with an RBI and a run as um, Ozuna had a pretty good game as well. Their elite second baseman, Ozzy Albies, would go two for five with two RBIs and a run as he had his first home run of the series as well. And their third baseman, Austin Riley, would go one for four with an RBI and a run and he, as he struck out twice. Um, he had a is he had the go ahead home run and with this win the Atlanta Braves now hold a one nothing series lead over the top seed Los Angeles Dodgers giving the Dodgers their first loss in the playoffs this year and the Braves are still undefeated and their pitching has still been kind of their pitching has still been dominant as they've held the Los Angeles Dodgers to only one run for how dominant this Dodgers offense is. Um, but with that said, looking forward to game twos today, looking out today, um, the Los An the Atlanta Braves and the Los Angeles Dodgers game two is going to take place today at 6.05 p.m. Um, in Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. Ian Anderson is going to make the start for Atlanta as the as the Los Angeles go pitcher Clayton Kershaw is going to make the start for them. This is going to be probably one of the most anticipated matchups, I think, of the playoffs because, of course, Clayton Kershaw, we already know how good he is, and Ian Anderson is now coming on the scene and 
he and both this might be an even matchup but that might come down to how well both offenses fare and then looking out to the alcs game three is going to take place at 8 40 today as the rays are going to take on the astros the astros are going to be the home team this time um for the rays ryan yarbrough is going to make the start and jose Urquidy would make the start for um the houston astros as they take as they face off against one another in petco park in san diego um the rays have a chance to make this a three nothing series and kind of put this series Series out of reach for the Astros. Um, but that's mostly that's everything that's going on today. Um, once again, it is Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, um, and I want to thank you once again for hearing my piece, and peace out.